What's up guys? Happy New Year! I'm back! Yay! And what a good New Year 2017 present than seeing Star Wars Rebels drop their new trailer. This shit was awesome. I watched this and I was like, I have never been so excited for a cartoon ever in my life. And I love Star Wars Rebels. Um, so let's do a step-by-step -step analysis. I'm gonna freeze the frame at certain points and talk about all the important stuff. So let's get to it. And holy shit, right there, there's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Holy crap, looking at the hollow of him warning all the Jedi uh, basically to hide and everything like that. That was a good way to start the trailer. Skip to Thrawn, and then we see, holy shit, TIE Defender. Okay, so we all knew this was coming uh, from the previous episode of Rebels, but holy shit, there it is, TIE Defender in the flesh. That's pretty cool. All right, and then we keep going. We see uh, freaking Magna Guards make a return. Chopper just got his ass beat. Saw Guerrera makes an entrance on Geonosis. And then we start getting back into the Imperials, and holy shit, Death Troopers, look at that. Look at the Rogue One cameo. Look at the Rogue One cameo. That's, that's awesome. Uh, pretty much nothing to say about this except fucking cool Rogue One uh, cameo into that. And then we see Droidicas. Then we see a couple other things, um, but now Thrawn gets into talking about he's looking for Fulcrum, their Callus, and obviously Callus is in big trouble with coming up, so that's that's pretty cool. Wonder what will happen with him. Um, then we get to see Mon Mothma. Holy shit! That was a pretty cool surprise, too. More... Uh, New Hope, uh, Rogue One, whatever, whichever one. More references to that. Tarkin makes a return. Freaking awesome. And then we get to see some more of Thrawn. Um, I'm particularly interested in Thrawn because he show he has a lot more battle scenes this time. Uh, it seems like they show him a lot more uh, action instead of uh, just a commander. And but now we get to the most important part. I feel like um, one of the most important parts is Sabine goes to find her mother and reveals that she has the dark saber this is a key moment so let's speculate on this for a little bit because sabine wants the help of the mandalorians in the rebel uh, alliance against the empire obviously sabine's mother thinks it'll come crashing down so she starts practicing with kanan because with the Darksaber, she'll obviously be challenged, and she needs to prove her worth as a Mandalorian to everyone else. So, um, I think this is great. Sabine shows off some badass stuff in this trailer. She shows off some of her moves, combining and everything. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, the trailer goes back to Saul a little bit, and then it kind of just glances over the characters, doing monologues of each of their factions, basically kind of Saw, Thrawn, and everything like that. Uh, we see a little more action from Sabine and some of the troopers, and then we see Thrawn in his badassness training, um, and then calling out anyone who speaks against the Emperor. Uh, and then so the space battles look intense, a lot more intense. But then we flash back to Sabine, and she has, I think it's Ezra's lightsaber, and she's battling uh, Gar Saxon, who now has the dark saber. Holy shit. We get to see some more intense battle scenes while Thrawn kind of narrates, uh, narrates about utter defeat and then is, i think that's wedge antilles right there that'd be cool to see him back um then we just see stormtroopers more battle scenes and then ezra in space so we know that they're gonna have a really cool freaking space scene um and then everyone's favorite part of all freaking obi-wan and maul showdown and that was the highlight of this trailer although i'm not a fan of this uh look of obi-wan i just feel like it's not his old ben look and this is only two years before the events of a new hope so um a little weird for me but nonetheless i'm excited for the obi-wan mall showdown um i've been everyone knows that's been kind of the highlight since the beginning of the season so this trailer got me so hyped this was a good trailer just really good so so much action and um it just doesn't look like they're gonna have hopefully too many filler episodes left uh i mean i guess tech they i guess they could but i'm hoping they lean more towards the arc of the series and not uh put a bunch of random episodes in for this season but uh as far as the main stories go uh Sabine, all of them have their part, like Sabine, uh, Kanan, Ezra, they all have their own little kind of plot lines, and I think that's really cool. Even Zeb got some more uh, action scenes, because he's kind of been laid back in this season. He, they haven't really highlighted him at all. The main se the main focus of the season has really been on Ezra and uh, Kanan and kind of the Jedi aspect, and then Sabine kind of recently just kind of got thrust into the spotlight when she found the Darksaber, but she hasn't even really been a highlight either. It's been focused mostly on just Maul, Kanan, Ezra and uh, Thrawn so all in all I'm super excited to see all these characters come together and 
I'm just really, really, really excited for that 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 freaking showdown between Maul and Obi Wan. Oh my God, that'll be awesome. So, uh, this week Rebels recap is gonna come out, and uh, I have a channel update coming out. I'll release that probably tomorrow. So, so you guys know. Um, but basically, in summary, streams streams will be a little bit weird uh, for a few months. Um, so, just be aware of that. But see you guys. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a good Christmas, winter, whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.